another lovely whoa <laughs> bit windy <laughs> a bit windy it's another glorious day on the canal <laughs> <laughs> today we are setting off towards sail and there was uh, quite a bit of traffic when we got up to uh, leave, to leave um, yeah. getting ready to leave three boats all passed us at the same time all one behind the other so we had to wait until they all went past yeah. so we're the fourth in a convoy at the moment <laughs> yeah I and mean, we're not too fast because generally along this stretch of the canal people travel fairly fast anyway yeah and um i know when we get to sail there's uh, a lot of residential moorings anyway so we're not going to go too fast we're not going to be super stuck behind anybody no there's a lot of moorings yeah. that you've got to go slow past anyway so and we're gonna just stop at sail anyway which is only about what five and a half six miles away is it? five miles from five here miles. yeah so yeah, not too fast we need to do a lot of shopping because we're at the point where it's all like two minute noodles <laughs> and, and rice and pasta yes and not much else not much else no we need some <laughs> fresh fresh fruit and veg so yeah. we've run out. <laughs> yeah. look like big ships I wonder if they're built like that because the Manchester shipping canal is nearby yeah and they're taking inspiration, <laughs> inspiration from shipping from the <laughs> yeah the front of them kind of look like cruise ships yeah it's just the shape of them yeah, yeah. pushing the last few days mainly because we only get seven days on the bridge water before you have to pay for extra time and we'd rather not <laughs> so we haven't really had a chance to really stop we only stopped for that one day in Runcorn yeah we've been cruising every other day yeah? we've been cruising every other day so we're on day five now so we have two more days um, before we have to be off so today we're going to sail and then from sail I think we can get it's off. about eight miles until the end of the bridge water yeah. something like that so we've still got a distance to get off but luckily because there's no locks eight miles is a it's pretty easy it's like what is it like a four hour four hours eight miles that yeah maybe a bit less, less. yeah less. so yeah eight miles is probably about three hours of decent cruising yeah maybe a little bit longer because there's lots of residential mooring that we on have to go water, slow yeah. by yeah although we don't really know what's on the left hand branch because we've not been on that branch yeah, um, yeah. when we get towards Manchester because we've been on the Bridgewater into Manchester but we haven't been along the Bridgewater to where it meets up with the Trent of Mersey again near Wigan yeah. so we're not really sure what's on that branch. It'll be interesting we'll finally be on to like genuinely new canal then. Yes. <laughs> up yeah. onto the Leeds and Liverpool too and we've told quite a few times that the Leeds and Liverpool are really nice so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. We've made it into sail, 
just in time it looks like it's starting to uh, come down. We got really lucky with the mooring too, a, boot, a couple of boats just pulled off. We've yeah. managed to get this spot so we're going to go and get some shopping but probably wait for this rain to stop because it's, it's, it's starting to come down. Yeah, come we should down. go inside. Go on, come on pizza! <laughs> is our sixth day on the Bridgewater Canal. Yep. So we're heading towards, towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah towards, towards Manchester, but we're not going... Well, we'll turn a left just before we get into the outer city area. Yeah. And then head north for a, a while. North... West? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, northwest. Uh, till we get to, we're kind of trying to go as far as we can today because um, we need to obviously get off the Bridgewater Canal by tomorrow. So we're heading for Lee, which is the end of the Bridgewater where it connects back up to being Trent and Mersey. But we don't know if we're going to get all the way to Lee today. No. I mean, we, we had to do some shopping this morning. We were on sale and we're getting very low on food. Yes. Especially it, Papa's food for the dog. Yeah, yeah, she was getting a bit low. And it was raining quite a bit this morning. Yeah, so we set off just around lunchtime when it was a nice sunny patch and we're not even 10 minutes, 15 minutes out and it's already started raining again. It's just lovely <laughs> cruising weather on the bridge water. <laughs> I enjoy the rain though. Yeah. It is actually quite nice. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm growing fond of the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've had it the entire time, but you know we've only recently started using it. <laughs> yes, because normally we wouldn't really cruise when it's raining. Yeah, but it's just been raining so much lately that. And we're on the bridge water, water so. and we have to get off it, so. Yeah. We don't really have a choice. We need to cruise in the <laughs> rain. So, thanks, umbrella. <laughs> Good thing we got gas. We've got gas. <laughs> we stopped yeah. here and asked on the off chance. So now we don't need to worry about running out of gas. For at least like three months minimum. Yeah. Yeah, but probably longer, but three months. <laughs> yeah, a gas cylinder, 13 kilogram gas cylinder usually lasts us about three months. We're coming up to the branch in the canal where to the right it goes up to Manchester and to the left it goes towards Lee which is the end of the Bridgewater and we're going to take the left branch. And just like that we're on a new canal. A new canal. Well, new to us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not actually new, it's probably about 100 years old. <laughs> That's all, almost all the canals. All the canals it's about that, though, yeah. Maybe a bit older. Yeah. It's always exciting coming onto a new stretch of canal that you haven't explored before, but I'm particularly excited about this little section of canal of the Bridgewater because we'll actually be going over the Manchester Ship Canal which I think will be pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to going over it. I don't actually know what it looks like so we might not actually yeah. see anything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably go past it and not realize. I'm gonna keep an eye out for it though. <laughs> yeah. It's all been industrial buildings so far so I can't imagine we've gone over it yet. No it's a little bit a little bit ahead. We're going through Trafford Park at the moment and it's all industrial, so yeah. just outside of Manchester.
after hit it. pretty awesome yeah I'm not disappointed yeah no. that really like usually when you're on an aqueduct it's just like a little bit of stone walls on each side and you don't really see a major difference but that actually felt like it was a bridge over water yeah. filled with water <laughs> yeah I'd asked the there was a guy waiting for us to come through and I asked him whether or not the actual because it's a swing bridge and I asked him whether or not it still functions as a swing bridge and he said it does still function and he's waiting there to change some lights I guess they have the lights flashing when it when it's about to be opened so I thought that was really cool yeah. <sighs> onwards <laughs> they must still use these cranes too because they've still got the the um to block off the canal water ah.
like a wee little lock. We've decided that we are going to push on and get to... Like, we decided, but it's kind of a... <laughs> there's not really anywhere to stop. Oh, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> there, there are quite limited moorings along the bridge water. Um, there's quite a few places where you could probably pin in, but you're not always sure whether you can pin in because sometimes it's all kind of like concreted. Yeah, like the towpath at the moment, it's all stone at the canal's edge and then right butting up against that, it's all concrete path. So due to that, we've decided to just keep going. It's only about three miles further until we get off. Yeah, three miles to Lee, which is the end of the Bridgewater. And just not too far from there, it looks like there's kind of like some lake countryside. Areas. So we thought that would be a good spot to moor up. We're hoping there's moorings there, and usually there is. I mean, there's one thing definitely that I miss from the CRT controlled waters is the Armco. Yes. We haven't seen Armco in over a week. Oh, where's the Armco, Maggie? Where's the Armco? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting close to being off the bridge water and I've been saying that it joins back up with the Trent and Mersey but that's not actually the case. Leeds and Liverpool. <laughs> Apparently it's straight onto the Leeds and Liverpool because I didn't think the Leeds and Liverpool started until uh, Wigan which is where this little bit of the canal joins onto the full Leeds and Liverpool canal. <laughs> so I thought this was like a connecting bit of Trent and Mersey canal. Apparently it's the Leeds and Liverpool canal, so... <laughs> Disregard all those times I said the Trent Mersey earlier. <laughs> we'll put a little caption underneath. Maggie meant Leeds and Liverpool. <laughs> That's it, we are off the Bridgewater Canal. Back onto CRT waters. Back on CRT waters on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. The Lee not, Branch. Not the Trent and Mersey. Trent and Mersey. <laughs> the Lee Branch, the Leeds and Liverpool. We're only going to head a little bit further, find somewhere to moor up, and that will be us done for today, because I think we've done about 13 miles today. Yeah. Or probably even a little bit more actually. So yeah. We're ready to uh, pull up and take a break. I think we're going to take a couple of days off actually cause yeah, yeah, because it has been constant pretty much since we came onto the bridge water. Obviously because we've only got seven days before you have to start paying for time on the bridge water. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. 
And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.